guys, it's Tilly and today I am back with another top 10 video and this one is on my top 10 prettiest books. I know I say this like every single time I do a top 10 video but this was super hard because there are so many more prettier books coming out every year. Like congratulations publishers or illustrators or whoever makes the covers because you guys are doing a great job because it was a struggle to pick 10. Like in fact there's still 11 in my pile and I need to chuck one out because I just have to decide as I go through because they're just so pretty. And because of that, I'm gonna make sure that I do this video in no particular order because these books are like a number one already on my list. So first of all, we have Salt to the Sea by Rude Sippides. I haven't even read this book yet and I still love it. Like the simplicity of that cover and the blue and it's just so perfect and I love it and I just have it on a shelf on its own because it's that pretty. This next one has recently been featured in one of my last videos but I will do it again and that is my special edition of The Maze Runner which came in this little black case and then this fluoray green jacket um that says if you ain't scared you ain't human with the maze runner on the side and like it's just absolutely beautiful and bright and simple and i do love my simple designs that's one thing that you guys will find on my list is either bright books or simple books and they're just gorgeous it's a very tight fit and next up we have the absolutely gorgeous edition of The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. So she has these three in like a metallic colour which you have it in gold, red and blue. It also has the fold out ends and just like that really nice one quote on the back. And I just, I could just stare at these forever. And I especially love like the fact that the sides of them are different as well. Like they're like little squares. Next up is another uh, edish, special edition of a book and that is the 20th anniversary edition of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. And this book is like engraved, it is golden, it is like puffed out and I just, I couldn't even when I ordered this and it was in my hands and I just, I felt like crying. And it even has like the red tag that we all just love so much. <laughs> If I did have to number these, this one would probably be a close first. I would rather go on a date with these books than with the hottest person you're thinking of right now. <laughs> My cloth bound of A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin is life, um, if you ask me. It is so pretty and light to hold and I just, I just, I don't touch this often. I don't dare to get dirt smudges on this or ruin in any way. Like it's already kind of getting dirt just on the folds and it's, you know, I've got to keep this pristine condition forever because it is so beautiful. So beautiful. And the next one is the book that I am currently reading, which I have been putting off for God knows why, but I just love this book so much alone for the cover and that is the queen of the tealing by erica johansson and not only is this cover beautiful and simplistic with a gold shine to it it has deckled pages and it even has that red strip of material that you can bookmark your page with and it has maps and i don't know like if you guys have a list of things that makes a book pretty but let's just check them all off it's so pretty I was literally on the verge of tears when this book came in the mail and it was as beautiful as I had even imagined. And that one is my absolute darling, my favourite book in the world, The Book Thief by Marcus Isaac. And this one I'm pretty sure is the 10 year anniversary of it and I just, I can't. That is a, that is a tear. Oh my god. This is what I sacrificed you, book gods. I didn't even need words to talk about how pretty that book was. And of course this one had to be on the list and that is Ignite Me by Tahira Murphy. And when will they give me the Shadow Me cover with this design on it in hardcover? Because instead I have the really ugly one with like the shiny coat and the girl standing on it. And I just want Shadow Me like this beautiful. And these are the same, it has deckled pages. Okay, I totally forgot to take one of the books out of my 11, so screw it, this is my top 11 prettiest books. And we have to have The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. This entire series is just 
beautiful. Like, I love the artwork on the cover of all of these books. But I think, for me, if you guys haven't noticed, blue is a colour that stands out. Second to last, we have Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. And I love the shine of this colour. And I just love it. The colours and the goals and the engraving are just... It's so beautiful. And I just love it. It's probably my favourite paperback ever of any book that I have ever seen in my entire life and I love it. And lastly, which is number 11, is Milk and Honey by Ruby Cow. And if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm really sorry, but there's the name. This is a book of poems and this cover is just simplistic, beautiful, like I just love the bees and it, it's, you know, it's everything. It is aesthetically pleasing, just like all of these books. So there you guys have my top 10 plus 1 pretty books and I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, let me know what your favourite pretty book is or the most gorgeous one that you guys have on your shelves and if you want go onto my other social media which I have linked below and you know send me a photo or post a photo and tag me in it because I... that's not pretty. So what was I saying before that phone rudely interrupted me? Feel free to take photos, post about these books, tag me in it, I would love to see them and most likely buy the ones that I don't own already. And until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys again soon. It's a goodbye from us. <laughs> Bye. This month I bought nine books.